we go. Okay, and there are actually a couple missions we haven't done here in the army warehouses, which might be might be wise to actually go do these. Okay, where are we headed? I can't remember where the portal takes you here. Um Okay, we want to go over to the no wait. Here's the map. So we want to go straight down. We're sort of headed in the wrong direction. We want to go this way. And I'm unsure if did we accept any missions? No, so we got to go back down. A sick stalker called Cheesecake asked me to find out the fate of his friend. I think I may have found his friend somewhere. Not sure where, and I've actually been skipping a lot of the side quests, which is probably not a good idea. I might want to just accept all the rest of the side quests here, and go back to Yantar and accept some there, because I believe there's a couple that we haven't done in Yantar. I can't remember, uh, but we need as much cas cash as possible to buy ammo and upgrades. Not necessarily upgrades, I think we have everything we need. But I, I seriously cannot stress this enough. We are going to need a shitload of ammo for this last portion. As well as uh, Lady Luck on our side, because this is not going to be easy. Seriously, I'm not, I'm not sort of just, you know, working this up to make it seem more uh, difficult than it actually is. I could not believe how difficult it was. It was, it was not difficult to the point of being impossible. It is, I think, impossible under certain circumstances, like if you have uh, poor radiation protection on your suit, then I don't know if you're going to be able to beat it, but, uh, you know, it is possible, and it's it's very possible, actually. You just got to use uh, some good tactics and uh, be patient, and you'll get through it. So I don't think we're going to be going and doing that in this episode. I'm going to leave that for the finale. I think for now we're just going to do side quests like I mentioned. Hopefully get as much here cleared up as we can. Complete the game in its entirety. Maybe even... Uh, I don't know. I think there's still a toolkit that I haven't picked up in Yantar. But I don't remember where that was. And I honestly never found it in my first playthrough. So... I don't know if that's something I want to bother with. There's not really any point in doing so unless we get some big reward from the, the mechanic in Yantar. I think that's the last guy who needs tools. Unless we haven't done the mission for this mechanic, which is entirely possible. And you know what, there's, there's no sense in keeping the, the goldfish off right now. I don't know why I'm not putting it on. Seems like a waste of uh, potential stamina boost there. And I believe I need to eat now. Yeah, there we go. That was the problem. <laughs> um, so let's just do a sweep of this building and talk to everyone we haven't talked to yet. Well, do you require any kind of mission? No, we've already done your we'll shit. I think he was the one who needed the generator. You can't talk to this guy. I believe there's a, a like IT guy here that needs something done. Have we already accepted this guy's mission? His mission takes place in the cordon. Have we done that? Take the heart of the oasis to the professor. Oh, we haven't done that. Where is the cordon again? I can't find it. <laughs> Here it is. Yeah, we accepted his mission. We haven't done it yet. Uh, so we're going to be going all over the place here. Again, these are just a cock tease. You can't actually pick these up. Not that they're really all that valuable. And What's it looks like we've already done that guy's missions. It seems we're done here, unless the repairman has something for us. Well, I don't think he does. Nope, it looks like we are all done. So, I don't really want to get the radiation suit now. I kind of want to go sort through my stash, though. If you remember that far back, I just essentially used a, an open spot on the ground here as a big stash. Um... You know, on second thought, I'd rather leave that for later. I don't want to be using too much ammo right now, since uh, I want to conserve as much as possible. But, yeah, there's literally nothing left to do except talk to this doctor over here, so let's go do that quickly. 
and then head on to Yantar, give the scientist the oasis and accept any uh, leftover missions that we haven't done for him. Go to the cord and get the laptop for that guy from the military checkpoint, which we've already cleared out, and then... I'm that's listening. probably it. There might be some missions in Pripyat I haven't done yet. We'll see. Uh, this is not the guy I'm supposed to be talking to. I gotta talk to Cheesecake here. Uh, hey, Stalker, what is it with you? Don't you get it? What's with the questions? Go deal with your own affairs and don't mess with mine. Dude, I saved your ass. Why are you shit-talking me now? So I'm afraid I found the corpse of a dead stalker near the, near the CPC. Look here. Kepin's PDA. Okay, we received a guitar. That's useful, I suppose. Can we equip this? Nope. How much does it sell for? <laughs> Probably close to nothing. And there is a mission you can do for this guy in here. It's essentially just like a a fetch quest. You have to find, search for and find the uh, PDAs that are scattered in like hidden locations around this area. I hate those types of missions, so I'm not going to do it. I honestly don't know where the, the PDAs are. I only found the first one and then I gave up because those missions seem very irritating to me. I just don't like them. Simple as that. Hate it when there's hidden shit around levels. And actually, did we do that? I, ugh, it's been so long, I can't remember if we've done this. Uh, the cook, where's the cook? I believe there's some kind of chef or cook somewhere here from um, the first game. I don't remember, but there's uh, the barracks over here, the, the place where you'd normally find the cook guy in uh, Shadow of Chernobyl is totally littered with anomalies. But I believe there's a mission to get an artifact from inside there. I just can't remember where we accept it. it. Might be right up here, but I honestly don't know. Let's go find out, I guess. Is there anyone here? Kind of discombobulated, discombobulated, discombobulated around here. I don't remember where you go to accept quests. Um, you know what, I honestly don't know and I'm honestly not that interested. It's not what I would call a particularly riveting side quest, it's just a sort of puzzle. Um, you need to navigate the anomalies in there. It would probably be easier with a Sfarog, but I'm not interested in spending 20,000 rubles on getting it. So it's not going to get done, and I believe we've done everything for this guy, yep. So there is, as far as I can tell, nothing left to do aside from those two random missions back in, um, or in the army warehouses here, so I think we're about to, I think we're finished. Unless there's something the scientists want us to do at the barracks that takes us back to this map. I don't know, I can't remember. It's been a while since I finished this mod first time. I swear we... Did we already finish these missions? I didn't think we did. I, I hope I didn't screw the pooch and... Uh, sort of cancel out all the rest of the possible missions by accepting the final um, sort of task. If I did, I apologize. But, you know, the, the point of this playthrough was not necessarily to complete every possible quest in the game. Although it'd be nice if I was able to do that, but, uh, you know. Whatever, there might be more quests that I'm just uh, missing in the cordon or something. And that is, you know, entirely possible. I thought I heard something there. I'm definitely hearing some howling in the distance, but that doesn't indicate any kind of near threat. There are some anomalies up here, I believe. Yep. Some Electras. These things are so loud. <laughs> Alright. Oh, ran into the pipes there. Okay, the portal should be right ahead, right? Yeah, there we go. No worries. This is going to take us to Yantar, I believe. Yep. 
Yantar it is. And it's pitch black now. Which is kind of not good, but I have night vision, which I'm forgetting about for some reason. Okay, let's go to the scientist's little portable bunker. Or mobile home, whatever you want to call it. Although this is quite a bit more sophisticated than any mobile home I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, I don't want to run into that. Is there anything left to do for this duty guy over here? Nope. I seriously hope I didn't just ruin my chances of doing the rest of the side quests because I uh, accepted that last mission. That would be disappointing, to say the least. Okay, Mechanic Potapov. Hello, so is it you who will be doing my repairs? Um, by the way, do you want to earn money to modernize your kit? Fine tools. Okay, I think I remember where someone said these were, so I might go look for these. I found the Oasis. Wow, give it here so I can take a look at it. Here you go. Well, hey, that's it. I've been looking for. Here's your reward. Uh, to learn about the existence of the Oasis. Thank you. So we got 60 grand. The Juggernaut. Uh, is that like a unique weapon or something? Uh, we'll check that out in a second. Is there any work I can help you with? Yeah, it just so happens that there is... That if you're up for a challenge and willing to travel... Okay, well recently one of our guys went to Pripyat to do some research, but he disappeared somewhere near the school. There he was taking measurements of anomalies. I need you to find his PDA. Where it is, I don't know. Probably near one of the anomalies or within the school where he, we lost his, the signal. If you find the PDA, bring it straight to me. Okay, I know where this one is. What is this juggernaut thing? Jesus! Okay. Uh, someone forgot to add spaces here. Very heavy protective outfit, which provides maximized protection in all categories, regardless of the attack. I, I don't want to read the rest of this, but geez, that is a good suit. Honestly, I take back what I said about the German suit. I never gave this guy the Oasis my first time around since I never found it. So here's what we're going to do. Talk to this guy. Trade. How much does this weigh? 15 kilos. This thing is so goddamn heavy. That's the only problem here. Oh, this might be an issue. So we're at 119. If we sell the Exo, we can actually keep the uh, the Juggernaut the baby, the, baby, the, baby. the Juggernaut suit. And how much does the guitar weigh? One and a half kilos. That's worth selling if we can find a trader who will accept it. And does this add any weight capacity to our person? No, it doesn't. I think this is the right decision. I'm gonna sell this. Put the Juggernaut. Okay, we're going to put the Juggernaut suit on and see if it can be upgraded at all to offer us any... Oh my god, this is amazing. Okay, uh, we want increased carry capacity here. It looks like this is essentially just a, an exosuit, so let's get weight carried up. Uh, body armor weight down, definitely. And servo motor boosters so we can sprint. Yeah, okay. And I think for now, we... I, I don't really want to spend the rest of my money right now. I kind of want to save it. Because I don't know how much ammo I have. And I do not want to run out on this last mission. Whoops. So it looks like there's nothing left for us to do on this map. We got to go to the cordon now, though. And finally go to Pripyat, get that uh, PDA, the dead guy's PDA, uh, and then give it to the professor, and profit. That is a series of events that is about to happen here. Okay, I'm concerned about running into a chimera or something along those lines, but you know, I'll probably be able to hear it before I run face to face into it. Oh no, this thing doesn't have night vision. That's actually a reason to go back to this guy. <laughs> I desperately need that. Uh, even if we do this last mission during the day, which I think is borderline necessary, I still want that night vision upgrade. 
So it looks like we are going to be spending a bit more money than I had originally anticipated. And I forgot about the toolkit. So night vision is right here. So rad protection, which is already pretty much maxed out. That's good. Second gen is fine for my uh, my needs. All right, this way is the way out. How's our stamina doing? Could use a bit of a meal there. There we go. Didn't really need to eat that, but you know, better safe than sorry, right? Still probably can't sprint for... Well, you know, we're sprinting decently long there. I'm using um, my old monitor to uh, play this on because I bought these... Uh oh, oh my god, oh, run, 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 oh my goodness, I can't believe we got out of that so easily. <laughs> uh, during like a, an online Black Friday sale, I ordered two BenQ 27-inch uh, VA monitors, essentially just a different panel type, I mean there's, oh my god, okay, this guy is going to be pissed off. Okay, that's exactly what I didn't want to happen. Let's use this, which has target acquisition built into it, to hopefully take these ass wipes out. Oh, my face! It hurts so bad, mommy! Okay. Oh, God. Well, then. Well, then. That, uh... That did not go well, did it? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, where are we? We're over here. Okay. Let's put the SVD on. Anyway, what I was saying about my monitors, uh, the VA panels are sort of notorious. I wouldn't say notorious, but uh, the response time is pretty poor on them, and they... During fast motion, like in games, there's a lot of motion blur and ghosting. Uh, so my old IPS panel definitely is a huge improvement in that aspect. The response time is great, and there is very little to no motion blur or ghosting whatsoever. Very happy with it. Okay. This zoom is almost way too much. <laughs> Be nice if uh, I didn't have this contrast improvement on this thing. It would make it sort of easier to pull off this shot, because I cannot really see where his head is. Oh, okay, we got him. Whoops. I had my fingers on the wrong keys there, as per usual, right? Typical toaster. Alright, I think we're out of range of these other guys. Where are they? And why are they not showing up in our target acquisition system? I'm outraged by this. I demand a refund on this target acquisition system scope. Okay, seriously. Oh, there we go. There's something down here. Something or someone. I seriously can see... Oh, shit. I think he's on to us. <laughs> oh, I hate dealing with these guys. I don't know why they're respawning so often here. We can actually try drawing them out with a grenade. If I make enough noise, I think they'll be on to me. And hopefully make my life a little bit easier. By showing their stupid faces. Okay, apparently they're not interested in cooperating. If I can just sneak by, I will do so. But I have a bad feeling that these guys are going to be on to me like uh, flies on shit. Very soon. Okay, can't see anything still. Well, we might not actually have to trifle with them at all. Alright. Trifle with them. I don't know who I think I am. Oh my god, okay, that scared me. That's kind of embarrassing that that scared me to the degree that it did.
Oh. Seriously, die, you asswipe. Oh my god. This target acquisition site is awful at night. I don't really want to use a grenade. Screw you guys, I am going home without you, okay? You can you can have fun back there doing your own thing. But I will not be a part of your system. Okay, um My loadout is kind of weird. That is actually pretty decent. There's a stash box over there. That's uh, I wish there were more stash boxes in this mod, especially in the army warehouses. There's, as far as I know, no stashes whatsoever that you can use there. Oh my god, don't. Don't do me like this game. Okay. I just got butt fucked really, really, really hard. It hurts so bad. Uh, I don't think I saved after sneaking past those douches. Nope. Actually, I did. Never mind. Okay, we will... Let's take out some bolts and not get caught in this anomaly. Isn't that a novel idea? Okay. Where's the freaking tube? I, I can't see where it is. Okay, there's the anomaly. Let's avoid that this time. See, see, where is... There it is, okay. We're good now. Let's get through this portal and get this done with, jeez. I've got 45 minutes on the counter here, and that's not even counting the first, like, 20 or so I recorded when I was having those weird clipping issues. So this episode is probably around an hour at this point. Oh, uh, that's the wrong way. Okay. So, we need to go to the checkpoint here to find the laptop, so let's just try and go up this way, see if we can hop the fence up here. If there is indeed a fence, if there isn't, then, uh, well, I guess we won't run into that problem, that will be. How did that happen? Did I... How did I misjudge that so badly? <laughs> I honestly don't understand how I ended up going the wrong way there. Am I just functionally retarded or something? Jeez. Let me change my loadout here. Put the... Uh-oh. <laughs> I may have made a bit of a mistake here. I hope you can upgrade the anomaly capacity on this suit. Or artifact capacity. If not, then I may have just made a, a grave mistake selling my... Well, you know what? I didn't make a mistake selling anything. Because I wasn't going to use the exosuit for an endgame uh, suit anyhow. So, no harm, no foul, right? Okay, do we need to... We need to hop over this fence somehow. Can we just do a elite crouch jump here? No, we can't. There's got to be a point here that uh, the ground slopes down on that we can get over this. I said there's got to be a point where the ground slopes down, game. Work with me a little bit here, please. God damn it. Uh, stupid invisible wall fences. Come on! Ah, uh, there we go, but we can't get over the fence here? Can we just walk along it this way? And Okay, no, that's not gonna work either. Oh my god. <laughs> what did I say about this being a long day when I started? I wasn't joking. Why, why am I even putting a weapon out? There's no enemies that I can foresee attacking us here. Alright, do I even need to jump over a fence here? Why am I finding it so difficult to get to this checkpoint? Okay, seriously, just jump over the stupid fence, you worthless piece of garbage. Oh my god. Get over- there we go. Okay. Took long enough. Again, I keep bringing out my weapon for some unexplainable reason. Now, let's just make sure I'm not... There we go. Okay, I'm going in the right direction. 
And I didn't remember the... Is this the... Yeah, this is the northern checkpoint. I thought the laptop was supposed to be in the southern checkpoint. Apparently not. Hey, bro, is it howdy just ho. over here? Okay, I'm, you know, I'm taking your computer. Hope you don't mind. Yep, I'm gotta listening. go. Alright, so we got the computer. Let's go back to the rookie village here. Technically, it's not the rookie village since uh, that place is abandoned, but the, the stalker loner camp is what I'm trying to say here. Uh, it's right gonna be on the right side here. Okay. I shouldn't have had to look at the map to deduce that, but my memory is not very good, or my my um, navigation skills are pretty subpar. I was uh, in Calgary the other day, and I had to go to um, a place right in the downtown core. For those of you who don't know where Calgary is, it's essentially is it the? I think it's the biggest city in Alberta here. Uh, I don't think Edmonton has a bigger population. Edmonton is the capital of Alberta. Calgary is a bigger city, I believe. Uh, anyway, uh, that's neither here nor there. I don't know why I'm bringing that up. I was in Calgary, and I had to get to a place downtown, and the traffic there is ridiculous. And it took me quite a few, you know, turnarounds to actually get to the location because I am useless at navigating anything without a GPS. I don't know why I didn't just use the GPS app on my phone. I guess I thought I was some kind of hotshot that didn't need it, but I I did. I needed it very much, and uh, I didn't use it for whatever reason. I don't know why I'm telling you this. It's kind of embarrassing, honestly. Hey, whatever. Bro. Okay, do you... No, you don't have a mission, do Howdy you? Hey, bro. Vanya Chisel. Hey, bro. Um... I don't think there's anything left to do here. Maybe, I don't think we ever gave the jellyfish we found to the leader here. And I honestly don't hey, think bro. we're going to need it. We've got two bubbles, which is plus eight radiation capacity or uh, radiation protection. Which should be plenty to get us through, especially with this uh, new suit that I just found. Hi, I'm the chief around here. I can often help with info. I spend a lot of time in the zone. Whatever. Okay, uh... How about some work? Go get the Vinteres. Find me my rifle. I had a rather special version of a Vintar sniper rifle that was ideal, made for eliminating zombies. It was taken from me by a fellow who was last known to be heading to Pripyat. I'm planning on making my way there anyway, so I'll try. I found it the first time, but I have no idea where this gun is. Uh... I don't really think there's much else to do here. Let's just go to Pripyat and maybe try to find the sniper rifle. It might be in the school, actually. Yeah, there's nothing left to do here. So let's make the long trek back to Pripyat and pick up the PDA, which I think I know exactly where it is, and the Vintar, which I'm kind of fuzzy about. I think it might be near the school or near the vine. I don't know, man. It's all blurring together. And we might want to equip for... You know what? Never mind. Scratch that. Because we're going to have to make our way back to Yantar after Pripyat to return the PDA. So we're going to have to stop by the army warehouses again. So it doesn't really matter. I was going to say we might want to equip our final loadout and go through our stash in the army warehouses. But that's probably not going to be necessary. What I do want to do, however, is upgrade the artifact capacity on this suit. That's going to be extremely important. I know we can get a second container, and this, this suit should be the same as the exosuit. I believe it had the same upgrade tree, so... I sh shouldn't have any problems getting the four artifact containers. Still, if we can't get those, uh, I would prefer three, but at least two. It's a bare minimum, because we desperately need both bubbles. And if we could put the jellyfish on, that'd be great as well. Hey, bro! Of course, I'm thinking we're playing Vanilla Shock here. <laughs> oh god, this is... We gotta go all the way down here now. That's annoying. I wish there was something you could do for those guys, like a... 
What was that? Am I being... I'm being pulled into this thing. I thought that was like a beer blast or something. A uh, beer blast. Sounds like a disgusting zone themed porno or something. Starring Sidorovich and a busty dwarf. I, I'm sorry for putting that image into your head. I sincerely am sorry about that. Okay. There we go. We're, we're in the right direction here still. Or heading in the right direction. Oh god, I'm gonna fall asleep here. <laughs> Did I mention I was tired? I'm quite busy recently. Uh, let me know uh, how you're feeling about these one hour episodes or possibly even longer. This one I might actually split in two because this is probably gonna be close to an hour and a half. But let me know what you think of that compared to the regular 20 minute videos. So far it's been uh, surprisingly undecided. Some people like the longer episodes. I've gotten some comments about, uh, you know, I preferred the older 20 minute daily videos, but uh, I haven't really gotten that much feedback since my original statement about that. So now that I've been uploading a few videos in this format, let me know what you think of it. If you, you like the longer ones, if you don't like them, just, you know, I, I need some feedback about this. Of course, we got to go to the specific sort of location here within a micrometer. Oh god, where are we going? Straight ahead. Literally straight ahead. I said straight ahead game. There we go. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of traveling here. <laughs> I wish we had a guide or something that we could uh, just fast travel with, but we're not that lucky. Now, I, my challenge here is going to be getting to this portal without using the map. I'm 95% sure I can do it, considering I know this map like the back of my hand by this point. <laughs> Being my favorite map and all, I believe I've mentioned that before. That Yantar is my favorite of all these stalker locations. I don't know what my second favorite location would be. I've honestly never spent that much time in the Shadow of Chernobyl version of Pripyat. I kind of had a problem. Uh, I finished that game the first time around and I sort of completely ignored most of the side quests. So I never hung around uh, Pripyat much. I just sort of went straight through and ignored it largely. Um, and then, you know, every mod that I played after that, I finished most of them. Uh, to the very end, like Oblivion Lost, uh, Super Mod Pack 2.4, what else have I played? There's been a, a bunch of other mods that i played like halfway through just to test them out. But I've never really spent that much time in the Pripyat map. I, I like it, don't get me wrong, but I just, I don't know how much, you know, exactly how much I enjoy it since I've never really spent that much time there. Anyway, that's, I, I honestly don't think I could give you a, a good answer on what my second favorite stalker location is. Probably the inside of the CNPP from Vanilla. That's just the sort of climax of the game right there. It's where everything sort of comes together and you end up fighting just swarms of monolith guys. The E.D. Colmne guy in the, the background, the monolith talking to you is just amazingly atmospheric. Did we get... no we didn't. We avoided that patch of radiation. I don't know, Yantar, inside of the CNPP, maybe the outside of the CNPP, that is a really, really intense location. A really great sort of endgame fight there. I don't know. I also really enjoy the Zatan map from uh, Call of Pripyat. I think it's a really, really solid location. Better than um, the Jupiter map and the Pripyat map. I was actually pretty let down by the uh, Call of Pripyat, Pripyat location. Seems like that would be the, you know, the the best map of the game, seeming as it's named after it, but I was actually fairly disappointed in Vanilla. There's almost nothing to do uh, once you finish free play, or once you finish the main story. Free play is actually quite interesting in Zatan and uh, Yanov, or the area around Yanov, Jupiter, since there are quite a number of respawns in that, but I don't know. Privyat always seems to be pretty abandoned and empty. 
Which makes sense, considering it is the, the dead city, after all. Not to be confused with the actual dead city map from the alpha builds of Stalker, or from Secret Trails, too. Depending on where you're uh, familiar. Okay, what's going on here? We got some enemies shooting at some good guys. Okay. Well, it looks like we're taking this guy out. Where is our sniper rifle? I think these... I, I can't remember if we took these... These guys out or not. Like the, the mercs that show up on this map. Did we get that guy? Okay, my scope is glitched like crazy here. Oh god, we're getting shot at here. <laughs> I really don't like this contrasty sight. I don't know, it's glitching out. I wish I could uh, uninstall it, but... Oh my god, that was the world's best grenade throw. <laughs> I'm honestly kind of impressed by that. I'm not even angry. Uh, you know what, I take that back. I am kind of angry. Okay, what I'm going to do is just bun, bum, bun rush. I can't talk. I'm stupid today. Is this guy, you know, a bad guy? Very much so, I believe. Yes. Ouch. Everything hurts. Everybody hurts. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not even gonna go there. Not even gonna consider going there. To singing territory. Oh God! Run! 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 I can't believe I didn't get killed there. And I'm dead. Oh, fuck me sideways. These guys hit so hard. Even when you have like the best armor in the game, you still get just destroyed by these merc guys. It's kind of bizarre. Looks like we're stuck using the SVD here. Unless I just want to buy... You know what? These guys have killed me too many times now. I'm, I'm killing them once and for all. Unless I'm just physically incapable of doing so because I'm not going to be able to see them. Oh my god, die! Okay, let's get down a little bit. Don't see anyone else here. I'm going to quick save after taking that guy out. Okay, I believe that guy might be friendly. I can't tell with it being so damn dark looking through this scope. Okay, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to throw the world's greatest grenade. It's going to blow up both of these guys. And I'm going to celebrate with dance. Okay, none of that happened. I bet you guys were looking forward to seeing me dance somehow. Even though I don't have a webcam or a camera presently. <laughs> I do own a camera, but I, I don't have it in my uh, apartment here. Okay. Now what's going on? Looks like everyone's dead. Maybe I, maybe I should celebrate with dance. Off camera, you know, after I'm finished here. Well, everyone died here. That's good news. Is that guy upside down? Please tell me he's, like, on his head. Oh my god, that is hilarious. He's leaned against the barrel, like, legs in the air. That is probably the most humiliating way to die ever which is why I find it so entertaining okay so they're all dead I'm gonna quick save ouch uh, do we have to go through the hospital and the underground again I'm gonna be kind of pissed if we do oh, god damn it please don't tell me there's a way to Okay, looks like we gotta go all the way through the stupid hospital. Ugh. <laughs> okay, well we gotta go to this checkpoint anyways to um, drop off what we picked up earlier. The, um, the laptop from the northern checkpoint. And my throat is actually killing me, so I might do these uh, final side quests later on in uh, the next recording session. 
been going for at least like an hour and 15 minutes so far. Again, I can't remember how long the original uh, sort of recording that I had was before I cancelled it, or not not cancelled it, before I paused it to check out my mic levels. I don't know. Celebratory gunshot. I'm happy with the way that fight went and how I took out like three or four of those guys with a grenade. Maybe it was only two, but I like to think it was more than that. Um, he's upstairs. That's right. Okay, nerd. Here's Hello? your laptop. Wrong guy! Nope, wrong guy still. Here we go. Here, take the laptop. What did we get? Chris Super V. Garbage weapon. Oh well. What's up, bro? So sad. Better luck next time. I might as well show you guys what it looks like at least. I don't know about it. I'll sell it to this guy. Okay, Barrett 50 to the face. That's kind of intimidating. Alright, I don't want this. Sell. Thank you. Goodbye, see you later, etc, etc. What I do want to buy is just an absolute metric shitload of 12 by 70 shot rounds. I just, I need, I desperately need as much ammo as possible. If there was a way I could get Gauss Rifle batteries from one of these traders, I would. But I don't think they sell them. I kind of regret selling my 50 cal rifle now, because it was such a hard hitting weapon. Oh well, no going back now I suppose. Let us just get all 130 of these. Wow, ammo was a lot cheaper with this guy, and let's get all the slugs. I essentially want as much ammo as I can possibly carry. That's going to be 11 kilos, that's kind of heavy. This stupid guitar, I don't want it. <laughs> Sell these, I don't need this much food. What is this? Vinca, useless to me. Vodka, pretty much completely useless. Energy drinks, totally garbage. I only need like a, a piece of bread or two. Let's say, one sausage, one bread is plenty. Do I need that many anti-reds? I don't need this much Hercules, that's for damn sure. You know what, I'll keep one energy drink, one Hercules. Uh, two energy drinks, whatever. Now, artifacts. Snowflake. Energy recovery. No, don't want. I do want this. I'm honestly not going to be wearing this, so let's sell it. Goldfish. Yes, that's valuable. Okay. So we're actually making a profit here. That was unexpected. Now, grenades. That's what I wanted to see if this guy sold. Definitely want as many of those for this uh, end game section as I can possibly hold. And he doesn't sell them. Yay! That oh, he does sell them. Okay, how much are they? Seventy-two eighty. That's still steep, but nothing compared to what uh, Fang was selling them for. Or wait, uh. 20, that's actually really cheap. I thought it said they were more here. 7280RU, but they're 560 here. That's weird. Well, I'm buying you out completely then. Purchase. Thank you. And we're probably good for now. This is a really nice weapon, this FN uh, SA58. I highly suggest you buy it if uh, you're earlier on in your playthrough and haven't already completed your sort of end game loadout. I don't need this, I don't even know why I have it. Um, okay, we're good for now. I definitely want to get more ammo later on, but I'm not entirely sure what I want. So uh, I think we're going to end it here. It's actually pretty much dawn, I think. So we spent. Uh, pretty much 12 hours doing random errands. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please give it a like. This was kind of an exhausting episode to record. Anyway, I will see you guys next time for the end game, the CNPP level.